Welcome to another video. For today's video, we are going to answer the average round question in the Metrobank MTAP Math Challenge 2019 Division Level for Grade 8 and we are going to explain in details how to get the answer. On number 1, write the expression quantity x raised to negative 1 times y raised to negative 1 all over x raised to negative 1 minus y raised to negative 1 raised to negative 1 in lowest term with only positive exponent. So to simplify the given expression, let us have x raised to negative 1 times y raised to negative 1 all over x raised to negative 1 minus y raised to negative 1 raised to negative 1. So to simplify, let us have 1 over x times y divide by 1 over x minus 1 over y, and then raised to negative 1. And then, let us simplify the denominator. So let us write 1 over xy, and then the LCM of x and y, that is xy. And then cross multiply, y times 1, that is y, minus x times 1, that is x, then raised to negative 1. One. So to simplify, let us cancel x and y, that is 1 over y minus x raised to negative 1. So this will be 1 over 1 over y minus x. So let us multiply this one. And let's divide by 1. So this will be y minus x over 1, so or our answer that is y minus x. So this will be our answer. On number 2, divide square root of 6 minus square root of 3 by square root of 6 plus square root of 3 and express quotient in simplest form. So let us write the given. So let us have square root of 6 minus square root of 3 divide by square root of 6 plus square root of 3. So to simplify, let us multiply this one by the conjugate, that is square root of 6 minus square root of 3 over square root of 6 minus square root of 3. So let us have the same term, that is square root of 6 minus square root of 3 square all over. So whenever we multiply conjugate, let us multiply the first term to first term, last term to last term. So that is square root of 6 times square root of 6, that is 6. And then positive times negative is negative. Square root of 3 times square root of 3, that is 3. So let us have square root of 6 multiplied by itself, that is 6. And then square root of 6 multiplied by negative square root of 3, that is negative square root of 18, times the constant 2, that is negative 2 square root of 18. And then negative times negative is positive square root of 3 times square root of 3, that is square root of 9, and the square root of 9 is 3. And then, 6 minus 3, that is 3. So we have now, 6 plus 3, that is 9, minus 2, then square root of 18 is factorable by 9, and 2, over 3. So this will be 9 minus 2, and the square root of 9, that is 3, and then square root of 2 over 3. So let us have 9 minus 6 square root of 2 over 3. So let us simplify. 9 divided by 3, that is 3. And negative 6 divided by 3, that is negative 2 square root of 2. And this will be our answer. On number 3, Write an equation of the line that is parallel to 2x minus 3y plus 5 equals 0, which passes through the point negative 2 and 5. So to find the equation which is parallel to 2x minus 3y plus 5 equals 0. So since we have a parallel, let us have 2x minus 3y and we are looking for the constant using the point negative 2 and 5. So this will be 2 times negative 2 minus 3 times 5 equals C because this one is X and Y. 
2 times negative 2, that is negative 4. Negative 3 times 5 is negative 15 equals C. So C is negative 4 minus 15 is negative 19. So therefore, since we have 2x minus 3y equals negative 19, so the equation parallel to 2x minus 3y plus 5 is 2x minus 3y plus 19 equals 0. And this will be our answer. On number 4, factor completely x plus 2y times the quantity of x plus 2y minus 1 minus 6. Since we have the same term that is x plus 2y, let us represent x plus 2y as x. So x will be x plus 2y. So we are going to have now x times the quantity of x minus 1 minus 6 equals 0. So let us simplify. x times x is x squared. And then x times negative 1 is negative x minus 6 equals 0. So let us factor the given equation. So the factors of x squared, that is x and x. And what are the two numbers? If we multiply, we can get negative 6. And if we add, we can get negative 1. And that is negative 3 and positive 2. So this time, let us substitute the value of x, that is x plus 2y. So we are going to have x plus 2y minus 3 and x plus 2y plus 2. So these are the factors of the given expression. So this will be our answer. On number 5, in how many ways can 6-digit pin can be formed if the first digit cannot be 0 and the last digit cannot be the same as the first digit? Since we are looking for the 6-digit pin, let us have 6 blank, that is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And we are going to have a numbers from 0 to 9, total of 10 numbers. In our given, the first digit cannot be 0. So from 0 to 9, how many digits can be written in the first blank? So that is 9. Because 0 is not allowed in the first blank. And then, the last digit cannot be the same in the first digit. So since 0 can be written in the last digit, so there are 9 numbers that can be written in the last blank because one of the numbers is written in the first blank. And then, from 2nd, 3rd, 4th, and 5th, since in our given there is no rule that there is no restriction, we can write 10 numbers here. 10 numbers on the second, 10 numbers on the third one or fourth one, and 10 numbers in the fifth blank. So therefore, let us have 9 times 10, that is 90. 10 times 10 is 100, and 9 times 10 is 90. So let us multiply this one. 90 times 100, that is 90,000, and multiply by 90, that is 810,000 ways. So this will be our answer. So I hope you will learn from this lesson. Thank you so much for watching and God bless us all.